She is getting a lot of attention, some incredible reviews. You're playing some awesome gigs, including this festival, and you're about to release your second album that was recorded with Leroy Stagger. Please welcome Mariel Buckley. Thanks for having us, Allison. Well, I caught you at the tracks Sending over a wicked stare So I gave you a cold shoulder I know not the one you can be Shining on a dark night, deep into your eyes, oh my heart was on fire. I'd never heard of the fire. Well, I caught you in the bar. You had a glow to rival the lights. So I'm making my exit before you make me put up a fight. What you're thinking You think that I'm a mystery And you've got the lead Your heart is on fire Honey, I ain't made of gasoline You haven't seen right through Cause I'm nobody's angel Just the souls of angels Worn out blues Oh, I used to be the moonlight Shining on a dark night Deep into your eyes My heart was on fire I'd never heard of goodbye Mariel Buckley, live on Waikat Country from the Edmonton Folk Music Festival. That's got to sound good, playing the Edmonton Folk Festival. Oh, man. <laughs> I, yeah. It's been a lot of really good uh, pats on the back lately. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so you're getting ready to release your second album, recorded mm -hmm. with Leroy Stagger down at his, his studio in Lethbridge, Rebel Tone Records. Yeah. Um, how did you hook up with Leroy, and, and what, was, what was it like working with him? I met Leroy at a, a performance coaching prep for... Uh, the Calgary Folk Fest does a, a performance sort of coaching thing where that you get 12 minutes to play three songs, and they have a panel of people who sit there and then sort of give you some critiques and some things to work on and, and some songwriting tips. So I, I met Leroy and John Moore Hannum there, and uh, Leroy just said, I just, I just love the way you sing, and we kind of became really fast friends, and then when I was talking about this batch of songs that I had, he really wanted to, to be able to produce them, and I, and I saw myself moving in that sort of more alt country direction, and I thought he would be a really good fit, and it's been incredible working with him. Wow. Yeah. So what, what would you say is the, you know, because you're, when you're first starting out, you're, you're growing and big leaps and bounds. So what was the, what's the main thing that you, that you either did differently or that you learned from the first record to this record? 
Um, I think a big part of it was was crafting my sound and my songs, which is still really difficult to do. I think two albums in, you're still kind of getting your foot, your feet underneath you. Um, but the big thing that I would say I learned is just uh, not to be afraid to voice your own opinion, because at the end of the day, they are your songs as well. And also to really to really sink into pre-production, because I think that's an important part of recording is is banging the songs out with your producer and making sure everybody has the same vision and there's no studio day when you're spending lots of money nonsense right you know right wow yeah. so i was just speaking with two great songwriters previously oh, yeah mary gauche and lynn miles and, and we were talking about truth so what about you how how do you work when you're writing the song as far as and i i just i always think of it as peeling the onion right to get to that core right how do you how do you work through that as a songwriter well i think i'm still learning how to be comfortable doing that there's a big uh you know there's a big i heard um lynn talk about ego and how that's a huge thing to to rid yourself of as a young artist and i'm you know not that i'm saying i have an ego i'm saying that it's it takes a long time to work away through that onion to figure out what your truth is and how what you want to speak to people and what you want to encourage in the world around you. And I'm still kind of figuring that out. So well, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Right. All right. Well, listen, I want to talk to you about some more stuff, but how about another song? Sure. Okay. Mariel Buckley live on Why Cut Country. Ready? Never been a gambler. Tonight I'm all in. Driving in the dark. Turn my headlights off Tired of the skyline And all the city lights It's always stop and go It's wearing me down No, it feels like somewhere
nice. Very nice. Thank you. Wow. You know, I'm always interested uh, in, in the process. Um, and just in case you've just tuned in, this is Mariel Buckley. We are live at the Edmonton Folk Music Festival for anybody who's listening off-site. Um, when you, in the process, do you know when you hit a moment and you're like, oh, that's a line? And then, like... Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, I think I have things bouncing around in my brain for a long time, and I'm not a very... I wouldn't say I'm a super prolific writer yet. I'm working on... I heard a, a quote once, great writers write every day, so I'm working on that. But at the moment, I write in big batches, and usually I'll have lots of things in the brain, and then I save them up for months and months. So when I do write, I have those moments of like, oh, yeah, or I've got notes jotted all over the house. So Right. Yeah. Um, now, how long did you, did you spend with Leroy working on the record? How many... Um, I guess like pre-production, including mixing and everything, because I did go down for a few of those sessions. You know, it was it was about four months, wow. which is a long a long haul, and we were both really picky about everything. And it, it you know it sort of was a lot of moments of banging your head against the wall because you've heard the song so many times. But I think we we really hit something great. Right on. Yeah. I'm so excited to hear it. Oh, thanks. Um, now you know one of the things that I, I think about a lot, especially with artists that are you know coming up. Um, is the balance between creative time, all the work that you have to do for self, pro you know, self promotion, right? You got to be out there on yeah. social networks and the, and then booking and everything. How you know, yeah. How do you balance it all? Oh. Being able, like a day gig, all of that promotional work, and then you try and carve out some creative time. Oh man, it's, it feels impossible sometimes. It really does. But uh, I've I've really taken to those co write to make sure I'm setting up co writes with people because I love doing that sort of stuff and just making sure once a week that there's you know aside from you know s stampede season and festival season when <laughs> there are no days a week but usually trying to make sure there's one day a week where that's just dedicated to me and and the guitar will be out and and you know i don't ever try and force myself to do anything creative usually it'll kind of strike me and i'll need to go do it but if if i at least have the guitar out and i have a whole day to just drink coffee and kind of ponder on those things i've been sitting on then I think I'm doing myself justice, but it's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you uh, are you shooting to to do it full time, just to get out on the road and? Well, I I quit my job in January, so now I'm, you know, I'm kind of. You're there. I'm you, there. You got to do it. Yeah, there's lots. It's pretty pretty scary, but it's you know it's been really really worthwhile. Well, you know what? You, no, you got to try. It, you got, and and you got to give it everything, right? If yeah. you really want it to work, you have to give it 100%. Absolutely. So, wow. Well, congratulations. Well, thanks again. That's really yeah, exciting. Of